Hi, my name's Alex Walford, and uh, this is Don Pico, and we are going to be sharing a scenario that comes up over and over. Um, and it's basically an enrichment uh, using data sourced from a couple of places. And uh, so let's say, in this case, we're going to be using a microservice. And the, the example I'm going to be using is healthcare, right? So let's say I have a bunch of events being generated by a microservice, and these are ailments. So an ailment um, event will have like a, an integer, uh, an ID of a person, and some kind of ailment itself, like that might be COVID-19 or something like that. So, so these are being written into Kafka uh, continually. So here's our Kafka cluster. These ailments are being written into an ailment topic. Now, let's say we have um, some lookup data that exists in a relational database. So I'm going to be using MySQL for this. And uh, so let's put a MySQL database here. And inside that MySQL database, there's a patient lookup table. So this table is going to be captured uh, using a connector. So we have the connect framework. Here's a connect cluster. This um, is going to be running the Debezium connector, which is going to use change data capture to pull out the changes as they're written to MySQL uh, using uh, the bin log, the binary logging in, in MySQL. It's, gonna, it's going to write those into a topic, which is going to be called patient. So now we have data coming from a relational database, um, which is basically a lookup table and we have a stream of events coming through, and we're going to join these two things using KSQL DB. So KSQL DB is going to read from the ailment topic, and it's going to read from the patient topic. And it's going to treat the, uh, the, the patient topic as a table. So let's uh, mark this as a table. So we, this is a table stream join. And so the ailment, these are a stream of events. And it's going to combine these using a simple uh, SQL statement. And it's going to write those back out to a Kafka topic. Now, once they're in Kafka, they can be consumed by other services. Maybe another connector could write it out to you know wherever it needs to go. Um, but the enrichment is happening in real time. And it, this is a very light load on the database. So instead of every time, there is a record coming through here. and it. It doesn't have to execute a query against MySQL. That data already exists um, in KSQL DB. Um, and uh, if I make a change in MySQL, that's reflected um, almost immediately. Um, so this um, scales out beautifully. And uh, it's really simple to build. And let's, let me show you how, how that works in practice. So just to recap, we're going to be doing a stream table join. These are color coded actually on this slide. So, so the table is yellow, the raw data, the unenriched data is blue. When you combine blue and yellow, you get green. Um, so that's the enriched data. That's why the colors are the way they are. Uh, so to recap, here's the, uh, an example of the ailments coming through. We have you know an ID, a patient ID, and um, the uh, the um, producing service is a little spring app that I wrote. All the source code is going to be in the link in the uh, description. So we have a bunch of patients, and th these are going to be in MySQL. So these are sort of famous world leaders uh, and uh, Farty McFartface. And so what we're going to do, look, oh, look, uh, there's an important person who's missing here, Kim Jong-un. So we're going to add him um, to this table of, of patients right here. So let's pop over to the terminal uh, and log into MySQL, first of all. So I'm in my MySQL instance. So I'm going to go to my healthcare database. And uh, I am going to insert this record uh, into the database. But meanwhile, over in Kafka, I'm going to open a console consumer. And I want you to see that you can insert the record in one place and it instantly shows up uh, in Kafka. So 
boom, there it is, right? See that? It showed up. There's uh, Kim Jong-un. Um, he's now um, in our, uh, in Kafka. Um, so let's um, go and take a quick look at the topics. So we're going to go to the, the uh, ailments topic and you'll see these are being written. So if we go to messages here, you'll see these flow in and uh, let's take a look at them. So, you know, patient number nine got breast cancer, for example. Patient number six got heel spurs. Um, and let's um, pop over to KSQLDB and um, you'll see a topology. If we go to the flow view here, you'll see a topology. We have the patient table. This is a table. Uh, that's kind of an interesting idea um, in, a, in, a, in a stream. Um, basically what this is going to do is remember the, the most recent event uh, for each key uh, and store that value. And so these are being joined um, and uh, let's have a look and see how that works in practice. So back to the slides. There's a couple of things I want to point out in the Debezium connector that are super handy. So this snapshot mode here, this is a pro tip, when needed. If you have, uh, the database gets disconnected for some period of time and the bin logs are no longer available on the database, this will break and, and then you'll need to uh, go and, go and like, snapshot the tables again. If you put when needed, it won't break. So this is a really handy thing. Uh, you know. Another thing that um, is um, important here, this unwrap. If, I don't know if you remember, but if we look at the, uh, the console output that got written to Kafka, it's a very minimalistic message. It just contains like um, the, uh, the keys and the values, um, but no schema or anything like that. So, so um, out of the box, the, the payload contains a schema. It's a little bit bloated. So depending on your use case, you might just want to uh, unwrap the message and, and just get the, uh, the raw data. So again, this is the big picture. We've got Debezium pulling data out of MySQL using the Connect cluster. Note that there are pairs of things. There's a pair of KSQL DB nodes. There's a pair of um, Connect nodes. And the reason for that is for fault tolerance. Um, again, I've color coded these. So look, we've got the yellow um, topic going into um, KSQL DB, the patient. We've got the blue events going in. And when you join them together, you get enriched events uh, that get written back to Kafka. So uh, that's how that's all working. So KSQL DB, you can build tables and streams based on topics. Uh, and this is how, how you do it. So there's the patient table there. You can see that Kafka topic. Um, so we're just telling it, you know, what the, the key is um, and, um, you know, the format of the messages. And, and we have a little create table statement. We have a create stream statement from the ailments. And then it's just a simple matter of joining those things together using uh, friendly SQL. So look, we have a select statement, a case in there, uh, a join, and we're joining based on the, the patient ID. And uh, that is our patient uh, ailment join um, that is streaming. So let's have a quick look and, and see the data flowing. So we have this um, flow um, table, and this allows us to browse around. So if I was to click in the ailment stream, for example, I can see these. If I wanted to inspect one, I can have a look. You know, uh, patient number two uh, got uh, heart disease or whatever. And then I can pop over to the uh, combined output here, and let's, let's just have a look at one of these. So, you know, Donald Trump uh, got concussion. Um, but luckily he was covered. So, so there's a little math going on in the case statement saying, you know, does the, does the current event time fall within the enrollment start or end date? That's the sort of healthcare scenario that we have going on here. So anyway, that was a streaming uh, join using KSQL DB based on data being produced into a topic and combined with the enrichment data that is being sourced from a database table. So I hope that was interesting. Thanks so much for watching.